Look at this place. Houston has some awesome artists. Big state, big expectations. Three people are gonna have the opportunity today to set the standard. I've lived in Texas my whole life. What I've known for around here is I do a lot of illustrated portraits. There is stiff competition here, and I couldn't make it if I didn't do everything. Oh, hey. Hello. Oh, hey. You must be Blake. Yes, nice to meet you. Are you from Texas? Yes, I've been in Houston the last five years. We just went through Hurricane Harvey, so it kind of uprooted us. I have two kids and a wife, so that's my main focus for doing this. Oh. This would be a way for me to help them get some stability, just ready to get into this competition. My name is Mel Cox. I've been tattooing 16 years. My style is traditional, neo-traditional. I like bold, bright colors. There's a misconception with female tattooers, like, oh, most of them suck. If you're good, you're good. Woo! Well, hey. Welcome. How are you? I'm Mel. <laughs> I'm you're super not, nervous. No, just like... <laughs> what are you nervous about? It's my first competition. Ever? Yeah. This is a hell of a first competition to throw yourself yeah, in. Yeah, it is. And then I have to beat one of you guys, too, after I beat these guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, she ain't gonna make it past that. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we will see. I'm Mike Wallace. I'm Mr. Houston. That is who I am. I'm the best. I'm not going to ever limit myself on anything that I do. I'm a humble, and you're an ant. You cover my lane, you're going to get off. What's going down, baby? It's your boy, Mike Wallace. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Wow, coming in strong with the personality. Well, you know, I am the best. I'm self-made and self-taught. I taught myself every style. Every style? Well, every single style you I'm, taught yourself? Look, my shop is the hottest tattoo shop in Houston, so, I've you know. I've never heard of it. Everybody know who I am. I'm ready to see what you can do. Big talker, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put your money where your mouth I'm, is. I'm, I'm He's got money where his mouth is. His t cell goes. Confidence or not, you know, you guys are not in your home turf. This is our game. I want to let you guys know how this competition is going to go down. We are going to have two elimination yeah. tattoos. One person is going to be eliminated each round. It ain't going to be me. Whichever one of you guys makes it through the elimination rounds is going to have to go up against one of us angels. You got to get through one of us if you want to get on Ink Master. Because you got to go big in Texas. Why not go up against the Ink Master? Oh. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> One of you is going to have to go up against Ryan. In the flesh. That's terrifying. All right. You ready for your first elimination tattoo? Yes, yeah. Ma'am. You guys have two hours. You can do any style, but you have to tattoo Longhorns. Mm. Oh. <laughs> We're looking at shading, outline, and your overall application. Your canvases are randomly assigned, and they are completely open. We want you guys to blow us away, because for one of you, this is your only shot. One of you guys is going to go home. It's not me. Not me. Get set up, and we'll send in your canvases. All right, you guys, you have two hours to tattoo Texas Longhorns any style. And your time starts now. This is what I pretty much came up with. Right on, dude. A Texas Longhorn is a giant beast with huge horns and a sour disposition. I'm gonna do a good one on you today. They are a pain in the ass to tattoo because their horns are so gosh damn big, unreasonably big, that it makes for a really difficult composition. It's gonna be neo-traditional, okay. basically. Is it horizontal? Is it vertical? Who knows? It's a Texas Longhorn. This thing's gonna be awesome. All right, here we go. So when I win, I'm having a party. Y'all coming? I don't have to talk all that to win. I definitely feel like I'm taking a risk digging this far outside the box. I'm putting a lot of details in this tattoo. That's kind of what I do. I've been a nomad my whole life. My parents move us around all the time. So I was like me over there doing my nails. <laughs> all my family's pretty much passed away. My family now is my boyfriend. You want some black glitter for your man crafts over there? There's nothing I want less. 
<laughs> nice to have that stability and structure, which I really never had. When are we tattooing you? You're going pretty big in full color for two hours, huh? I am. They say go big or go home, so I'm going big. That's a pretty okay. big, crazy, complicated tattoo for two hours. You done with your outline yet? Are you done? Almost. You know what they used to call me in high school? Mess up Mike. Mess <laughs> up Mike, dude. Mike the Great, because I'm amazing. No, they didn't. Go. Well, you gotta wait. I gotta think. This is a thinking game. When I first started, I had nothing. My wife has had my back since then. Without her, I wouldn't be where I'm at. I feel like you're about to cheat. How am I gonna cheat? I don't know. You're cheating. <laughs> I want her to know that we've been doing this for this long and we haven't been doing it for no reason. And I just want her to be proud. I swear you cheated. <laughs> There's no <laughs> way you can jump that many boxes. I won. I won. My babies are So you're doing full color, pretty much a portrait in two hours. Yeah. Hot damn. Well, I normally get done, so. Well, you're gonna feel like an idiot if you don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty minutes left. <laughs> Gotta get cruising. Whoa, are you finished Boom. already? I'm not around, man. Are you okay. Serious? <laughs> so are you technically done? No, nah, I'm gonna tighten it up. Not try to get too crazy. I just try to stay like neo-traditional on it. All right. We'll see how you fare up against the other two. You ready, Mike? It's on, son. Whatever. It has so many saturation problems. It looks rushed. He did rush. He's got the time to go in and fix it. Well, he better. Oh, let's see what you got here, baby. What's up, what's up, what's up? Oh, that's nice. Let's see what you got. That's really, really nice, okay. So you pretty doggone close. You did a big one like me, man. Everybody finished, so Barely. at least we got through that, you know? <laughs> what happened? What happened? Sometimes one person drops a ball, but all three, man. Everybody bit off more than they could chew for a two-hour tattoo. Blake obviously had the most reasonably sized tattoo. But if you're gonna go simple, it has to be simple and perfect. All of his blending was not blended. All the colors made no sense. He did not saturate that tattoo. I really appreciate Mel's design. I think she really thought outside of the box, but all of it jumbled together is simply a mess. I mean, it maybe would have worked well if she just did it on paper and never tattooed it. Mike had a nice composition, and his outline isn't that bad. It's just you didn't finish the Texas Longhorn. The one thing we asked of you, right. you didn't finish. There could be some hope for any of them because they made bad choices in the size and the time. I don't want to be having a deliberation where I have to figure out who's the best of the worst. My <laughs> tattoo is going to send your ass home. I couldn't tell what yours was. His, he yeah. didn't finish. See, if I had a little more time, I would have really shined oh, well, on you. That I was the, that was the challenge, though. But I, it doesn't though, matter what you were first thinking though, what, you were going to do. What I did it already was you, right, unfinished. Guys, what are you guys doing? Talking? Mm hmm. Blake think he won. Got it the best I can in two hours, and I think it was better than both of theirs. I don't want to be a dick. I don't think that was a good tattoo. You gave yourself a smart option of doing something simple and striking, but you didn't follow through on it. The black isn't solid. The shading isn't smooth. It's one of those tattoos where you're like, good from far, far from good. For me personally, I know that give it a little more time, I could have tweaked it, I could have finished the board, made it a little more realistic. You had very clean line work. All the colors and the flowers, those are really nice. That was solid, but it wasn't finished. Yeah. If you were smarter with your time, that tattoo could have been the best in the room. I was trying to think outside of the box so much to be different than everybody else that I bit off too much. And that tattoo had personality. 
but so much of your line work didn't connect. There were spaces in between, especially in the barbed wire. I had so much to do. But you gave yourself that much. Yeah, oh, I know. There's no terrible tattooers in here. It's just bad decisions. It's yeah. bad choices. Well, one of you guys is going home today. The artist that is going to be eliminated is...